Welcome to the episode of Beyond Cheers of Detective Gomez Files. And uh, I want to thank you for being part of our show today. Today we're talking about women are better cheaters. They use micro cheating to their advantage. You know, I think this is true. You know, lots of women, when they're in a committed relationship, they tend to use micro cheating when they're kind of fishing for something else, some, some other way. Maybe they're kind of like on the border of their relationship and things aren't working out too well. So what they do is they use micro cheating to kind of test the waters to see what, what they want. Uh, and women tend to get away with it better, better than guys do. You know, um, men, it's harder for us men to do the micro cheating thing because we always, well, guys always get a bad rap anyway. But women can constantly put themselves out through social media to get attention to kind of see what they're looking for. Or maybe they're, they're not happy in the relationship, so they put out uh, a photograph and something kind of skimpy, maybe a tight dress, bikini, whatever. Or, or you know, I know, I know quite a few girls on social media are constantly doing photo shoots. I don't know why, but they do photo shoots and they put all the photos up there for people to get their photo shoot. Not that they're models, but they do photo shoots. Or you'll see women that um, aren't very attractive. Uh, they don't do something like, I'm not wearing makeup or anything, what does everybody think? And then constantly guys are blowing them up about how great they look. And even though they look terrible, guys are still blowing them up. So it's different ways to get attention through micro cheating. And I guess micro cheating is in the way of flirting, flirting online. And um, it's uh, it happens a whole lot. Uh, women tend to, can get away with it better than guys do. So that's uh, it's, it's flirtatious behavior, engaging in playful and suggestive conversations Eye contact, bio language, outside the relationship, digital, and without actually physically cheating. That's what they say. You're not physically cheating with somebody, but it, it can lead up to that. Um, and that's how a lot, a lot of relationships break up because there's a lot of micro cheating going on. And micro cheating, like I said, it's just another word this time of day for flirting. Flirting online, and a lot of people do it, they get away with it, and then, you, you know, you. Turn around and say, well, golly, that guy was on her Facebook page. I didn't know they were you know, seeing, seeing each other now because they were micro cheating. She was micro cheating before they got this happened. So uh, there's another word that also says that micro cheating is a term that describes small breaches of trust in a relationship that don't lead to physical infidelity. It's more covert than blown a blown affair. And it can involve inappropriate behaviors or interactions that are close to intimacy while in a committed relationship. Now, if you've got a woman that's out there that you're involved with, and she does start to micro cheat a little bit, you've got to, I personally think you got to say something in the very, very beginning. Say something, hey, what's going on? Who's this guy like in all your photographs? Who's this guy? Who's this guy? You know, start to define what you like and you don't like. Us men that if we don't say something now, a woman will continue to do it. They're very, very, a woman's very, very uh, adamant sometimes about saying, hey, this is how you met me. This is what I am. Either deal with it or, or be gone. So be gone. It's not what you want. Get out of it. Uh, like I said, women tend to get away with it a lot better than us men do. Micro cheating is, is you know, a little, little bit different for women. Um, like I said, they call it small breaches of trust in a relationship that don't pass a threshold into a physical affair. Uh, women tend to, like I said, women tend to get away with it more than men do. If you see something like this happening, you, you know, definitely need to start kind of, you know, talking about it and just, you know, let them know this. It's not what what you want, uh, not what not what you need, and it's not, not not what I want in my relationship. Because if you don't, you're going to be stuck with something, uh, and then then you can't get out of it, and then it's just going to turn into a big mess after that, and you don't want that in your relationship. Um, just at this day and time, there's so many ways to cheat, contact somebody else in a relationship. So many ways, you know, whether it's through it, all through social media platforms, I'll have direct messaging. They all have, you can like, you can put emojis on somebody's photograph, you can put heart, hearts, happy face, smiley face, crying face, all kinds of things you can do to try to get someone's attention. And if you're needing attention, especially a woman, if she needs attention, there's so many ways she can do that too. She can tease her audience by, by either put something like I said, skimpy, something like a bikini, something, 
you know, whatever, or, or ask your opinion. By the way, how do I look in these photographs? Can somebody please tell me? You know, you look great, and you just want the, you want the attention, and you will get it through micro cheating. And like I said, uh, women are just better at it than us guys. And when they're doing this, maybe something's not good going good in their relationship. This is their way to start kind of fishing out maybe somebody else they might want to start talking to or seeing by putting this out there that you know they're they're obviously like not happy in their relationship so they're constantly going to let people know that hey i'm kind of maybe thinking about talking to somebody else here are some more examples of michael cheating texting someone you're attracted to telling people you're single and when you're not uh keeping secrets talking to an ex or start uh talking to an ex again being on a dating app disrespecting your partner emotionally cheating you know these type of things are some examples of micro cheating so if you feel this is happening to you, men, get out of it. Uh, I, will, I will say, I don't want, one more thing I want to read to you. It says, micro-cheating is a term that usually describes small acts of not physically cheating, but flirt with being an act, but they may flirt with being an act of infidelity. Micro-cheating behaviors are often subtle, sub, hidden, and secret from one's partner while in a committed relationship. So if you're in a committed relationship, just remember, that if your partner starts to micro cheat, especially if you're a female, you know, and you see your, your girlfriend or your wife start to do these types of things, that means they're starting to fish, they're starting to look for something else. And they're either probably getting you ready to dump you or divorce you very, very soon. So see these things that happen, please beware. Don't be caught blindsided, guys, because women are smarter than us sometimes when it comes to this kind of stuff. Okay. All right. So remember, if you got someone's micro cheating, micro cheating. Definitely take action. And if, if, you, if they don't like you taking action, guys, then move on. Move on to the next one. All right. Take care. I appreciate you listening and watching Beyond Cheers, the Detective Gomez Files today. And of course, we want to thank our sponsor, Mr. Juan Hernandez. He's a personal injury attorney here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. He can help you in a car. So if he's helped me, contact him today, 214 900 000, or visit him at juanlaw.com. And of course, you can visit me at DetectiveGomez.com for all your investigative needs. I'll be more than glad to help you out. Take care, and I'll see you next time on Beyond Cheers with Detective.